Hi everyone, let's continue. Consumption theories, under these consumption theories, I had already given you absolute consumption theory as well as relative consumption theory. In this theory, there is, in the relative consumption theory, two important effects are here. One is demonstration effect and the one is Duesenberry effect. Demonstration, if we will talk about Duesenberry and demonstration effect, both are same. So how we can define Duesenberry effect? Duesenberry relative income hypothesis. That is individuals or household try to intimate or copy the consumption level of their neighbors or their families in a particular community because they are where they are living. Let's say in a society, somebody is having high standard of living. They are just copying their standard of living. So this is called demonstration effect or we can call it Duesenberry effect. There are two things are very important in this, in this kind of effect. One is APC does not fall. It remains constant because it, if income of all families increase in the same proportion, distribution of relative income would remain unchanged. And therefore, the proportion of consumption expenditure to income, which depends on relative income, will remain constant. And second thing is a family with a given income would devote more of his income to consumption if it is living in a community in which that income is regarded as relatively low because of the working of demonstration effect and vice versa. Because person, he is more interested how the neighbors and family members, what kind of standard of living they are carrying. So same standard of living, whether, they, whether his income is allowing or not allowing. This is known as demonstration effect or due in many effect. But... Another effect we will talk about that is ratchet effect. Ratchet effect that is basically either when your income is high, you were maintaining uh, one kind of standard of living. But when your income is going down, but still you are not compromising, you are not reducing your st standard of living, you are still maintaining your, you would like to maintain your standard of living as earlier. So that is, Duesenberry argues that when absolute income increases, absolute consumption increases, but when absolute income decreases, the household do not allow their consumption to fall in proportion to the fall in their incomes. So it is so because household get to use to a certain standard of living in the long run. And hence, when their income falls, their consumption falls less than proportionality. Proportionately, this is called ratchet effect in consumption behavior. When consumption does not fall in proportion to the fall in income, then APC rises and MPC falls. APC rises and MPC falls. So this, these are the two effects I was talking about. One is demonstration effect. Another one is ratchet effect. So I hope this video would be helpful to you. Keep watching, stay tuned and in the next video I would like to discuss with you because one of my viewer uh, on the YouTube channel he had written, ma'am kindly explain difference between relative income and absolute income and definitely I will explain in my next video what is the difference between absolute income and relative income. Thank you. Keep watching, stay tuned.